So we're headed home from the beach. It got a little cloudy and we came up with a really cool video idea. Y'all are gonna enjoy this. I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy it. Y'all might enjoy it. What looks like stuff that we eat back home in the United States is not the same here. Cheetos, Doritos have a completely different like flavor profile, but we're gonna try all kinds of cool snack food just for you. This is gonna be bad at our expense, but we're gonna do it for you. So hey y'all, buenos dias, buenos tardes. My name is Renee, this is my channel, Welcome to My Curls. And my husband and I are in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. We've been here for a couple weeks and we thought I had a really fun video idea. And today we were sitting on the beach and it, there's some clouds started going by. And so we thought this is the perfect time to film this video. So we went in the little um, like the, uh, the convenience store basically here in Puerto Vallarta and we picked out what looked like the, the most popular snack foods that people would run in a convenience store and buy. Chips, crackers, cookies, gum, candies, cakes, all of these things. We have really no idea what we bought and we're going to do a taste test for you. We're going to taste all these things and let you know like what we think about it. How does this compare to what we're used to eating in the U.S.? Because I will tell you just simple common snacks like Cheetos and Doritos are so incredibly different here. I'm not somebody who likes spicy food. I don't like hot food and ooh, I like to know what I'm eating and today I don't know what I'm gonna eat. So y'all may have a good laugh at us. I don't know. Let me show you what we got at the OXO. That's like a big brownie. Ooh, get one of them, okay. Some kind of sponge cake. Looks like a, what do you call them at home? A, st a yes. Moon pie. Moon pie. Mm, cheese. Cheese. Crickets. Strawberry biscuits. I uh, don't know. Ooh, what's pecan biscuits? I bet that's popular. Oh my gosh. Look how cool these are. You want a bowls? <laughs> Okay, yeah, we're over here in the stuff I recognize now. White Kit Kats, Hershey's. This all looks very familiar to me. Hot nuts. Oh, here you go. Oh, boy. Okay, hot nuts. The hot nuts with lime. Oh, look. Red Cola. Manzanita Soul. Marada. Or do you want one of those up there? It doesn't matter me. Look, here's mango gum, grape, and orange. Surely they got a bag. <laughs> I got nachos. Do a one of those too. Okay, how much? Uh, one is it doing? Okay. Gracias. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know what we just got. Like seriously. We're going to find out. So we're heading up to our condo with a huge bag of snacks. Every time the guy would go ring something up, he would say it was on promotion. Like get two for the price of one or get three or something. I don't really know. So we ended up with a ton of stuff that we didn't even intend to get. We're going to get up to our room and get ready to taste all of these Mexican snacks for you. Uh, isn't he going the wrong way? Yeah, one way. Look at him. So here's the hall, just so you can get a good look at everything. Nothing I recognize other than this. To, to me, this resembles Ritz crackers with cheese in them, although they're a different brand, but we shall see. Chocolate chip cookies, I think these are gonna be pretty straightforward. Y'all have no idea what this is. Look at these, how cool. Is that like a churro? Churro mias with lim limoncita? I don't know. These scare me. 
Is this an orange mineral water? We got all of that for 163 pesos, which is roughly eight US dollars. All right, so here we go. We have a table of snacks in front of us. Let me tell you first, we have already had the Cheetos, super spicy. It looks like regular Cheetos, right? But you can see, see how dark they are? You see that dark seasoning? This is some spicy stuff. It makes like this hot burn thing in the back of your throat, although they're weirdly addicting. Once you start eating them, you can't stop. But it's the first couple of bites, it's super weird. So just even Cheetos are strange here. We have an assortment of snacks in front of us. I don't know what this is. Tia Rosa Doraditas. It's some kind of sweet bread, I think. You want to know what it says? Huh? Do you want to know? No, what I don't want to know what it says. Pan dulce is sweet bread, right? So it's like a crackery type thing. Let's try it. I don't want to know. I think I better not know. But this looks innocent enough. Well, so look, it is a ah, cracker thin. Can you see the sugar on it? Like a glaze. Wow. <coughs> okay, bye. It's hard to find good help, y'all. <laughs> but you can see the sugar, but the back is just like a cracker. Oh, very, very light and airy, okay? <laughs> Well, it's a cracker with sugar on it. Yeah, it's basically an unsalted saltine cracker with just a little sprinkle of sugar on it. Oh, well, that's a letdown. I expected way sweeter, although, hold on a minute. There's nothing here that's sweet. I could sit and eat that though. It's good, but look how crisp this is. Oh, it's just like fall apart. Where are you going? One thing we've learned from all the years we've been coming here is in Mexico, things that are supposed to be sweet really are not sweet. Even like donuts that have chocolate on the top of them, the chocolate is not sweet. Are not sweet like it is in the US, but. I could eat that, I could totally eat that. Okay, next. We got myth. Your hands over. <laughs> I got my water on standby too. Next, I want to try these. It looks like little Ritz miniature crackers with cheese in it. I think it is gonna be. They look like little Ritz crackers. They're crispier than a Ritz. I feared it'd be spicy. Um, no, they're not. It's little cheese sandwiches on a buttery cracker. What I expected. Go sweet. I don't know if I'm ready for hot. Ooh, okay, let's do this one. I, th I think this is the chocolate chip cookie, right? Chalkies, Relena. I think it says crisp wafer with chocolate and something, and that's the word I don't know. <laughs> but it looks like a chocolate chip cookie. Filled with chocolate. Oh, it's filled with chocolate. Oh, you're right. It's a very a very light crumbly cookie. I'm gonna break it. Oh, it's like a soft cookie with chocolate in the middle. Mm. Mm -hmm. Soft cookie, but not a sweet cookie. It's not, it's not sweet at all. You would think it would be sweet with all that chocolate. It's really not. Mm. I mean, 
I can taste a little bit of chocolate, but okay. Now what? Uh, let's do something that I don't know what I'm getting into. Shiramias with limoncito. I don't know if this is churros with lemon on it. That's what I think. If so, that would be really weird. Churros with lemon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was, I think, expecting a sweet smell when I opened it, but it's not sweet. They're little sticks, little miniature churro sticks. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh. Mm. Um, very lime. Lime. Woo. Honestly, they kind of taste like a frito with lime on them. <laughs> so it's like a, oh. That's a lot of lime, wow. It, they do, they taste like a unsalted frito with lime. Don't you think? It'd be good with beer. Good <laughs> beer. <laughs> okay, well, yet I'm pouring out more. I think everything is shocking at, at first. Very limey, yes. Okay, apparently that's why there's a green dude on the front. He's your lime. No more? Okay, well, whoa. Could only eat a couple of those. Wow. Oh. Pucker. Back right, back right in there. Okay, I'm dying to try these. Little honeycomb looking things. Bim Wayne. Bin. Bin Bonilos. Bin Bonilos? Bim. I don't know. Again, it says sweet bread on the bottom of it, but it's a fun shape. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at that. And they're like hollow and coated in sugar. Here, you get your own, because I think I'm gonna wanna eat this. Well. It's churro. like a, yeah, it kind of does. It tastes like a, maybe like a stale churro, sort of. Oh, there's a churro. But a stale churro. It has a weird crunch to it. Yeah, it had a weird crunch. Like an odd consistency? Or almost like a, you know how we eat funnel cakes when you go to a fair in the U.S.? Almost like a funnel cake with sugar on it. Not powdered sugar, but granulated sugar. Yeah, a cold funnel cake with granulated sugar. I probably wouldn't sit around and eat that. Huh? Would you? No, I wouldn't. No? Okay. Next. Scare table covered in sugar and grumps. Okay, just, here we go, all right. Next, you want hot, sweet, what do you want? We're saving the gum for last. Oh my gosh. Y'all should see our kitchen at home. It's always spotless for this reason. You're making a huge mess. All right, let's all right, spicy. Yeah, all right, okay, yeah, all right, here. Not okay, sweet. woo. This is gonna get me, I know. Just the fact right there that it says jalapeno. I don't like spicy. Jalapeno chips. Papas fritas, which means potato chips with jalapeno. Smell that. What does it smell like? It smells like a jalapeno. It smells like a freshly cut green jalapeno. jalapeno. Wow, they weren't joking. Okay. They look just like an innocent little potato chip. I'm scared. 
Mm. Oh, you like them? <laughs> They're green. They they taste green. I mean, there's what? Green. They taste like a green jalapeno. They're not spicy immediately. I mean, I am getting some spice, but it just tastes like a green jalapeno. It does. You like them. Um, okay, he likes them. They're not bad. All right, we're gonna try this drink. I think it is orange mineral water, I think. It's got a little bit of carbonation in it. Oh, look at them. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I didn't realize it was going to be like a soda. <laughs> I thought it was a juice. I didn't realize it was going to do that. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, let's taste it. Lids off. Come here. We'll, we'll clean it up in just a sec. Oh my gosh. It's, it's running down the bottle. Okay, anyway, it smells like a freshly squeezed orange. It, it tastes like fresh orange juice that has a little bit of carbonation in it. It's actually really good. Like I know, uh, it does. yeah, like orange drinks at home are very like fake orange flavored, a very forceful orange, but this tastes like actually a fresh squeezed orange with some carbonation. It's pretty good. Yeah, I could drink that for sure. Moving on. All right, we're going- pretty good right there. Okay, well, he likes the chips. So, I have no idea what this is. Absolutely no idea. Some sort of a cookie. It's got a picture of, like, basil or mint. It looks like peanut butter. Peanut butter. How can that be pink? Oh, that is a peanut. Those Why are, pink? are those pink? Look, it's, it's not peanut. a peanut. They're peanuts. Oh, okay. Well, then it's gonna be a peanut butter cookie. I thought it was some kind of, since when do peanuts have leaves? Anyway, whatever, okay, here we go. It's gonna be a peanut butter cookie. It's gonna be, so it's a little cookie, like that. Oh, it's peanut butter. What does that remind you of? I know exactly what it reminds me of. The little man. Yeah, the little nutter butter. Nutter butter. Nutter butter cookies in the United States. No, no. That's exactly what these are. Nutter oh, butters. Sweet. Okay. Mm. We have four things left. You want to do spicy, sweet, more sweet, our gums laughed. Amazon's kind of bread. here. Hmm? Amazon, you hear me yelling? So, because we're in like a gated little villa, when Amazon tries to deliver something to somebody here, they can't get in the gate. So they stand outside on the street and they yell up for the person until somebody comes out. Gated? Like there's a gate, a front gate. You can't get into the villa. Well, Amazon is yelling for Will, who lives across the way. Will is not here. Okay, I don't know that I can eat these. Hot, hot nuts. From the bread. It's got, oh, okay, wait, I gotta sneeze. All these random flavors. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna do the bread. Where'd my sidekick go? 
This is one of the things when we were checking out, the guy said, it's on special, it's on special, two for one. And so Randy grabbed this. I think it's just a vanilla muffin, honestly. <laughs> oh, hi. You know, <laughs> look what those look like. <laughs> These, they're just little muffins, but at home, we make something called grandma muffins. They're homemade vanilla muffins. It's his mother's recipe. We call her grandma and that's why we call them grandma muffins. They take on this shape and look when we bake them. Yeah, but this ain't grandma muffin. It is not a grandma muffin. It is a vanilla it, cake. Cake muffin. It's just a cake. Nothing in the middle. It's just a vanilla cake. Pound cake. Pound cake. Yeah, pound cake. We go with strawberries. Mm, it would be. Okay, yeah, it's just pound cake. Mm. I'm getting full. All right, I guess I'm gonna give in and try the hot nuts. It says with some, something something with chili and lime, hot nuts. Not looking forward to this. Oh, well. I think these are gonna hurt me. <laughs> they look like this, very red. They're not, what kind of nut is this though? What is that? I think it's a peanut with some kind of candy coating around it. Is yeah. it pistachio? No, look, it is. Is it a pistachio? Hold on a second. See? It's got a coating. It's a peanut with a candy coating, a lime coating. Yeah. And a hot spots on it. Yeah. It's a peanut because there is a little bit of a sweet to it with like a candy coating that's sort of sweet. Then with lime and spice. They're not hot. I just, uh, it's not my thing. Okay. He likes them though. <laughs> so this is our last cookie. Oh. Woo. Oh, they get you? They caught up with you? <laughs> this is a Chalkies Brownie. This Ooh. looks pretty good. It looks like there's a chocolate center. Oh. A little miniature very dark colored thing. You go first. Coffee. Coffee? Mm. Has a weird consistency, a weird texture. It's not like a cookie, it's not a brownie, it's a just got chocolate in the chocolate. Hey, bad. Mm, I don't like it. I'm trying to think what it reminds me of. Soft batch cookie with chocolate in it. But why is it a weird? It got a weird wang. Something going on in there. Mm, not for me. Nope. All right, and the last thing is gum. I don't know why I picked this up, but when we were in the store, I'm not a gum chewer, but they had all of these flavors of Trident. Some said hot on there, like hot mango, like crazy, crazy gum flavors. I picked out what I think, strawberry and lime. I probably haven't chewed gum in 10 years, but okay, I need to, let's have a drink of this. Ooh. I gotta get that cookie out of my mouth. Ooh. Here, I'll let you go first. I'll let you go first. <laughs> Mm. Okay. I don't like them. Well, you gotta try it. You can spit it out, but you gotta try it. It tastes like 
Well, wait a minute. There's like a cool mint something happening too. Like a, I don't get lime at all. You know, back in the day when I was little, my grandmother always used to give me those little hard candies that were wrapped in a little package that looked like a strawberry. That's what this tastes like, but with a weird, is that mint? <laughs> I got to put this out. Why? <laughs> wow. like wow. No, it's like, <sighs> sorry. <laughs> I can't do that. No, I don't like that at all. <clears throat> Could just be me, because I don't like gum, but. Okay, wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, so we tasted everything. Now, what was your favorite thing? Out of everything we tried, what was your favorite? If you had to like sit down and have a snack, what would it be? Uh, the jalapeno chips. Jalapeno chips. Mine would be this little bread. I thought this was really good. It's so light and airy and fresh. I could for sure sit here and eat this whole thing. So if you enjoyed this kind of silly video, I have several more on our vacation in Puerto Vallarta. I did a video about the great food that we ate, restaurants we went to, fantastic food. You should check that one out. I did a tour about our condo that we're in right now. I give you a condo tour, show you around, tell you how you can rent this condo if you ever want a vacation in Puerto Vallarta. And then, oh, you definitely need to watch everything you need to know before coming to Puerto Vallarta. It's a very informative video. It is full of facts and good information, like important things you need to know before you vacation here. Oh, and then spend the day with us. What do we do on vacation all the time? We're here for three weeks, and so we just kind of take you along and show you a typical vacation day in Puerto Vallarta. Okay, so there you have it. Our take on Mexican snacks. Not what I expected. Some were surprising. Some were just, mm. but I did find something I like, and you found something you liked. So that was fun, right? <laughs> Just know, if you come to Mexico, things are not what they appear to be. I guess you have to taste them to know, right? Can you say something? <laughs> I mean, anything? Me? Yeah. What do you mean to say? Are we done? We're done. Okay, well, until next time, see you later.